The Milwaukee Admirals return to action this afternoon at 3 o'clock at the BMO Harris Bradley Center as they take on the Iowa Wild. Last night, the Admirals losing 4-1 to to the Manitoba Moose. The Admirals now 1-3 against Manitoba in Milwaukee. That was the final game these two teams will play at the BMO Harris Bradley Center. The only goal scored last night was from Max Gortz, who scored at 4.54 of the first period. Just 19 seconds later, Manitoba tied it up, and the game winner came early in the third period from former Admirals forward Matt Halischuk. Uh, the Admirals back in action today, as I mentioned, against Iowa. It'll be the third game of Gabrielle Bork's return to Milwaukee. Bork down on a long-term injury conditioning a stint with the Admirals. Uh, he can play today, and it'll be the final game of that stint. Hadn't played since November the 27th, missing 35 games with the Admirals' parent club, Nashville. Spoke with Gabrielle Bork about returning to action. So your first game in a long time here the other night. How did it feel to get back out on the ice? Well, it felt good, but uh, the game-wise was a little tough. That was uh, the timing, all that stuff was uh, off. So, but it was fun to be back on the ice after three months. So, I was uh, I was happy. What have you been doing back in Nashville for the last three months? Are you, you getting a little ice time out there? Oh yeah, I skate almost uh, six times a week and try to work on my uh, my rehab on the ice and off the ice. So. It's been a it's been a long uh, three months just uh, doing just yeah. getting by myself almost every day. So that was fun to be with uh, the guys and uh, with the team and play finally the game. Well, you mentioned to play the game speed and and handle the puck and things like that. It's one thing to do it by yourself six days a week. It's another thing to do it when somebody else is coming at you, right? Oh yeah, when you see people coming at you, it's a little, a little different. Uh, you need to execute a little faster. So. It's good I'm here and I work on my game and hopefully tonight's going to be better. So when you are in Nashville uh, and injured, are you around the team a lot or are you by yourself a lot? Well, I practiced with the team for the last month, three weeks last month. So I was uh, I was around the team, but for sure uh, in uh, January they left for uh, almost uh, mm -hmm. more than half the month. So I was kind of by myself skating with uh, one trainer, so it was uh, a little tougher, yeah. but uh, it needs to be... Uh, what you need to do to uh, go through. Give an idea of how things are going in Nashville right now. I think people are thinking that it's hitting an uptick. Things are going to start working out now a little better than they had been the left for a while. Oh, yeah, for sure. I think uh, the guys are playing more like a team and playing more intense. And uh, it's show up on the scoreboard. We were playing really better the last couple of weeks. It's nice to see. Yeah, la la a couple games for you left in uh, on your rehab stint here. What are you hoping to find out of them? Uh, what's that? What are you hoping to find out of these last couple of games that you have rehabbing your injury? Well, I think uh, I hope it's going to get better. and uh, For sure, I don't. Uh, I forgot the last game because it was my first one in three months, but mm -hmm. hopefully tonight's going to be uh, better. My timing and execution will be better. Is that the big thing, though, the timing and, the, and all of that stuff? You're feeling good? Oh, yeah. Like game wise, I'm uh, feeling good because I've been working out so hard the last yeah. three months. But just the, the game and the systems, all that stuff, need to be uh, adjusted a little bit. Sure, sure. Well, it's good to see you and good luck to you. Thank you very much. All right, that's Gabriel Bork. Face off today between the Admirals and Wild is at 3 o'clock. Pre-game coverage starting at 2.30 on Sports Radio 105.7 FM, The Fan. You can bring your dog to the game, just $2, Purina Dog Day afternoon, so bring the dogs out today. Also, first 5,000 fans will receive a bobblehead of The Crusher, the wrestler who made Milwaukee famous, and ICAT Logistics presents Salute to Wrestling. Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, Victoria, Billy Gunn, Bushwhacker Luke, and Road Warrior Animal will all be on hand signing autographs and meeting fans. You can watch today's game on AHLlive.com for more information go to milwaukeeadmirals.com.